blah blah blah, 1995, rawr. Anyway, um, let's check the port again. I may not work since I have my VPN. Um, no. Anyway, and then after that works, you want to go blah blah blah. No. Okay. After this is up and everything, you want to go to model startup, module startup. Sorry. And then you want to go enable module server startup if you want to. This is pretty much just going to add it up to the computer startup, and every time they turn on the computer, it's going to be they're going to restart your server. Um, anyway, you can change. I wouldn't change any of this stuff, but if you know how to, go ahead. Um, don't do any of this. Um, you, I wouldn't hide it if I were if I were you, because it would just mess everything up. But um, you can choose temporary, but it's up to you. Um, the install message would just pretty much be like an error message saying title, and then you want to put in error and then whatever you want to say, um, like, cannot connect, and then you want to, it'll pretty much be in there, so, that's what that looks like, um, then you can do mod module shield, blah, 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 module shield, which pretty much you can hide it from the startup key, um, that's only 32 bit, um, then you can do, you can hide the stub, and hide the parent stub, um, and then you can disable the task manager, registry, the Windows firewall and the user account control, which is the whole little would you like to accept blah 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 blah. Anyway, you can disable the AV notify, the security center, the Windows update, and the control panel. Then you can do the active offline keylogger um, on server startup. That's pretty much just going to be a. <sighs> that's pretty much just going to be a little keylogger built in. Anyway. Then the host file, you don't want to do anything there. You can change the icon if you want to. There's no plugin. Then you can file bind it if you want to. Once you get to the build module, you want to do a UPX and then you want to save the profile setters, settings and make sure it's .exe. I'm just going to name it test2. Um, yeah, so that's going to be on my desktop. So then you want to go to your desktop and run test2. I think I have. Um, so, one second, I'm going to disable this, and, no, I'm going to disable my VPN to show you what you all you can do while, um, you have all that stuff running, but, I so, be right back. Okay, so now I'm back, and I'm just going to rebuild the server, um, anyway, so I'm just going to randomly pick one, generate the mutex, um, keep everything as it is, um, I'm not going to do a module startup, I'm not going to do any of this, um, blah, 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 I'm going to do an icon, so I'm just going to choose a custom icon, choose one that I have, um, anyway, so build server, then you want to, I'm just going to name it test2 again, alright, yes, you do, um, that's not supposed to be like that, so one second, I'm just going to name it randomly then, okay, there's that, okay, so now you got this. Um, I'm just gonna exit out of that, and then you're gonna double click it or whatever, and then now you're gonna have Josh's IP. Oops, Josh's PC. Sorry. Okay. Now once this is up, you can you can easily access the keylogger by just blah blah blah. Quick open when quick window open. Um, you can either press Control Control O. You can go to the store password as Control P. Remote shells file manager remote web pants remote desktop. Um. Anyway, so then you can, this is a bunch of fun functions, I'm just going to make another video on how to do all this stuff on different functions. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully this helped a lot of people, and I hope to be uploading quite a new tutorials, because many people don't understand this. Um, so, thanks for watching.